What's up everybody, G5 Productions in the place to be Superman first class in the mix. I'm going to show you guys the flexibility of the Kraken and how I re-rack microphones in and out of it depending on what's going on. So let's get into it. All right, everybody, there she is, the Kraken. So in most normal configurations when I go to weddings, I have two microphones racked but there are occasions where I have to put four microphones in here. So let me uh, get these uh, microphones out of here. That's the handheld. This is the lapel mic. So it's set up for ceremony sound at the moment. And um, got a couple of cables in here. I need to also move out of the way so I can give you guys a quick peek down in the bottom to show you what's going on. So let's do that. Down in the bottom here, I do have on each receiver that I hook up uh, audio cables. I have a couple of BNC antenna cables. There's a network cable and power, right? And the reason why I have all that stuff hooked up like that because um, obviously the four microphones when I do rack four already is hooked into my Behringer XR18 mixer right here. And the networking is for when I scan one microphone, they all do a frequency scan. So I already showed that in a video before. Um, but other than that, I got two more sets of uh, cables, power and network and all that stuff for two more uh, receivers. So let's go ahead and rack them. While I'm talking about this process a little bit, won't you guys go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And of course, don't forget to uh, rock that bell if you wanna keep up with all these cool videos. Uh, but the reason why I'm re-racking these is because next weekend I do have a sort of live sound event where it's going to require me to have six microphones. So I want four of them already in this rack because I am going to be using this mixer in the box. But um, I'm going to supplement it with two more and another antenna distro. I'll do a video about that later. But the process goes as such. I use the two uh, short ends. Uh, from each system and each system does come with a bottom plate so they join together to complete a set of two just like that i'm not using mic three here with mic four because mic three is currently at shore it uh wouldn't come on with the display so after troubleshooting and figuring out it wasn't my power issues with the antenna distro and stuff like that i decided to contact shore and send it all to them to get fixed so because i have eight units i just replaced number three with number seven and I'll use some uh, masking tape and write number three on here temporarily. But this is how simple it is to physically hook it into the box. And of course, I got these four screws I got to go ahead and hook up. So uh, let's time lapse that part. You guys know how to do this stuff already. OK, so now comes the challenging part. As you can see, I have one receiver on top of the other one. So this would be number two, which is on top of receiver number four here. So this is what I have to do, right? Usually I'll take out the uh, audio cable here to give myself some room to work with on the bottom of the receiver here. So what I have to do is look for antenna 4A. So let's look at number two. Here's uh, antenna 2A. So antenna four is labeled right there for 4A and obviously it's gonna be right underneath it like so. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Everything here is kind of labeled, um, even the uh, network cables here. So as you can see, I'm uh, hooking that one up right underneath it. So, you know, basically um, it shouldn't be too hard to get that in there. And then let's get that other BNC cable. First, we have to find out where it's hiding. There it is right there. So boom, right? So a little bit of challenge here, uh, not too terribly difficult, but just fun enough, I guess. And then there's always that matter of the power cable. So for this part, I always use the safety loop on my microphones, even though they're in the box and generally won't be disturbed. But, you know, it's always that nature of moving things and, you know, a power cable could come out. And I don't make it a terrible big deal, just enough that, again, you know, I don't want it to come out uh, for no reason. So it's safety loop with power. I got my network cable in. I got two BNC cables in there. And next we have to find the audio cable. So all of my audio cables are labeled also. And um, I think this one is kind of uh, jammed underneath the receiver. So I should have made sure of that first. But thankfully this box is plastic. So I can just pull it right out of there. And boom, it's labeled mic four. So we're gonna put that right inside the uh, mic four there. And of course, find uh, number three again we set to the side and uh, number two excuse me there it is somewhere in here man this is always fun boom all right so i'm just going to repeat the process for microphone number three so receiver number one over here is on top of receiver number three i'm just going to hook it up all right everybody so we're all good on mics two and four we got the power network cables bnc 
on channel B, we got audio. And then of course we have BNC on channel A. And the same thing on receivers number one and number three there. Well, it's number seven really, but it's labeled for number three. So everything's hooked up. Okay, everybody. So uh, at ceremony mode, I usually have a handheld mic and a lapel microphone. The UA844 SWB is the antenna distro that I'm using. It's not only putting antenna power to all four of these microphones, but it's supplying power to these microphones. So I'm gonna turn on the mics only in the whole box and everything's getting powered on. And this one is probably not turned on because I do turn it off from time to time. So let's get everything powered on. Let them go through their little cycle of power up. So what I'm trying to verify is two things. Do I have a display? The next thing I need to verify is, are all of my microphones properly connected and networked? Okay, so to verify the network scan, there are two more things I have to turn on in the box, and that is the switch and the router. Okay, everybody, so on the microphones, I do now have all of the network icons showing up, so I should be able to, in theory, hit menu maybe twice to put all these mics in uh, network scan mode. So there's enter, and then everything will get ready, set, respond accordingly. And then there it is. So I am satisfied that all of my networking is uh, working. And just to re-verify it again, I'm gonna pick something random like this mic here. Network scan, enter twice, and uh, boom, there it is. So again, everything's good. I just did it on two different receivers just to make sure. Okay, everybody, so we just did two things here. We not only racked two more microphones in preparation for next week, I verified that all of my microphones are up to date by making sure the microphone can scan to each one of them accordingly. So I'm happy about that. What I'm gonna do also as part of the preparation for next week is flip this around because the antenna distro has four sets of antennas for up to four microphones, but it also has a fifth set of outputs that pretty much is used to daisy chain over to uh, another antenna distro. So for next week, when I set a mic rack next to this, then I'm gonna also be able to provide antenna power for the other mic rack without having more antennas sticking up. And also I'm gonna run two more Cat5 cables out of this router over to the other two microphones. So there's a specific harness built for that that I already set up. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, pack it into the Kraken right now. So it's something less I have to do for next weekend. Okay, everybody. So here we go in the back of the Kraken, got the power cable and the two network cables. Uh, one feeds the switch, one feeds my mixer right there. And I have a port here for up to two more Cat5 cables. So those will be going to two more microphones in the mic rack. But here's where everything comes into play as far as keeping things neat and tidy because for troubleshooting purposes, you know, not only can I see right here, but everything has its run. So on the back of the antenna distro, these are uh, one of these are input for power to power the distro and four of these are output towards the microphones to power all four of them. Um, two of these antennas are for um, like the, these sets over here are for the B side, these ones over here for the A side, but two of those cables actually goes up top to these antennas right here. So the last two, which are going to be the last two outputs from antenna A and B, this is where my cable is going to uh, branch from here to get over to the other mic rack and uh, provide antenna power for it, All right? So these cables are going to go to a second antenna distro and that antenna distro is going to in turn power those other two microphones and provide uh, antenna power accordingly. And check it out, everything is like Velcro nice and neat so I can remove this temporarily just to uh, do work in the box. So, man, I got my cables all together here. But anyways, as you can see, it's kind of a tight spot. So that's why keeping things nice and tidy matters uh, for me, even in the box where nobody see it because it's easy troubleshooting. And in this case, that is very, very tight. So there we go, finally got it on and I twisted it on. So two things going on right here, right? <clears throat> got all my gear that I'm gonna be using for the ceremony plugged in, plus for next weekend, all set, boom. And here's my two BNC cables that are gonna go to the other one. So I have to make some more uh, Cat5 cables to get this a custom size to go along with these BNC cables to the other rack. Cause again, I like things nice, tight, quick. 
So these are just gonna uh, temporarily sit in the box. I'm gonna take that off for there, right? And these are gonna sit right into the base of the box. So let's pack it all up, cause I'm done for the night with this. Y'all pray for me, cause I really do suck at making those Cat5 cables. I mean, I used a whole pack of the RJ45 connectors to effectively make four cables out of like 50 or 60 RJ45 connectors. <laughs> That's bad odds. But at least I got what I needed for, for the moment. So I'm just tucking in the router. Uh, this is what I normally use for the cracking. And again, I'm gonna make two more uh, Cat5 cables to come out of here long enough to go into the microphone rack next to it. And that's gonna be that. And so to store this for now, I'm just gonna Velcro this right up to the back of my power switch just to keep it in place and uh, tuck that down some and I think we're good here. So turning everything off in the box, get this power cable out of there and we're gonna tuck it all the way. All right, party people, we got the power unplugged for the entire box. So this is from the power switch. And I'm gonna just tuck that nice and neat over here. So I'm all set for tomorrow. Wedding. You know what? Let's unveil for this. Just because of those cables. We're good. All right, so there's the back. Antennas down, flip it around, and put on the top. And there's the top. All right, everybody, there it is. So we got the Kraken with two more microphones in it. We did a little prep work for next week by putting the uh, BNC cables in there. So I still gotta make two Cat5 cables, hook them up to that router, and everything will be ready for next week nice and easy. So I'm excited about that. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments below if you have any questions about the Kraken. Uh, just know that I am gonna be shooting a full-blown video about that box because it definitely deserves uh, some attention. And uh, I'm going to talk about it in detail, and it's just going to be great. Other than that, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to our channel. And if you want to keep up with all our videos we're putting out, all you got to do is rock that bell. Other than that, I'm Gerald with G5 Productions, DJ Sound and Lighting. And if you want to check us out on the web, just visit www.g5productions.com. Let's party.